So today I'm gonna be talking about resolving fisheye problems and priming furniture. So I've got a piece of furniture right here or a mirror. This is um, goes along with a dresser and we ran into some real problems with fisheye on there. If you haven't heard of the term fisheye, that's um, what a result of what happens if you got a contaminant on a piece of furniture or cabinets or some type of uh, wood painted surface where the, the paint, when you spray paint on it or a primer, it'll fisheye away and it fish eyes away in a circular pattern and so we call it a fish eye and what's happening is there's a uh, surface tension difference between um, the contaminant and the sur substrate or surface around it and it causes the coating to flow away and circular patterns so this mirror right here I'll show you this mirror this um, I began spraying this mirror a black color and we're using a 2k poly to spray this um, piece of furniture it started fish eye and and now before the paint dried I wiped it off really quick and we're going to sand it and we're gonna prime it now the primer I typically keep you know on hand when I'm painting furniture or cabinets I usually keep a um, shellac based primer and it's typically Ben. So Ben is a shellac based primer and this is what I've come to use to resolve any type of contamination issues on cabinets, on furniture when painting. Now I'll either use it in a spray can to spot prime or I'll use it in a gallon and I'll run it through an HVLP sprayer or an airless sprayer. Now, if the fisheye is really bad, you definitely want to you know, sand it out because the circular pattern that it leaves, you know, when you re-top coat it, you will see those circles in the top coat. So you definitely want to sand it out. Right here, I'm using my Ekasan 3x4 sander. I'm gonna be using a half inch sponge to uh, sand this and any type anywhere where I see any of the fish eyes that weren't wiped out I'll definitely want to sand over those and get them taken care of. Another thing about Ben Primer that I use it on uh, cabinets, I use it on furniture to resolve fisheye. I also use it to block odors and urine. It's the only thing I found um, when it comes to um, you know cat urine, dog urine inside houses that will eliminate that. It will seal it in. We'll use it on floors, use it on walls. So um, pet odors, um, smoke odors, and stuff like that. So we use it in um, fire damage too. So Ben is a great overall product for a lot of different things. So you can see it's like probably 50 degrees outside. This is already dry right here. It's gonna be ready to sand here um, pretty quick and then top coat it. 